Hello guys, what's up to my channel? Today, I'm gonna be reacting to the vegan teacher, but to other YouTubers. Yeah, I really hate her. But, yeah, let's see. See, here, yeah, I just started watching this. Or any of these products. Remember, everything that you show right. should be vegan. I forgot. 100% right, vegan. Don't hurt I animals. I forgot. Ever. Okay. Not a chicken. Vegan teacher. Vegan teacher. Please. Man, this is hard. I'm a slow typer, so yeah, vegan teacher. I just say like, vegan teacher eating meat. Oh, that's good. Why are meat hits so? Mm. Oh well, that's because we eat it, man. Yeah. The let me see. I don't know what to watch. Yeah. Uh, ah, this one right here. Oh, this is low. Not bad. Looks pretty. Hello, students. Welcome back to class. Check it out. We're wait, wait, let me get something first. Uh, come on, grab your paper and pen. We're gonna write vegan teacher, not nice and nice. This is really fun. I got no space here. Okay. I'm gonna be watching a video by Darman, and apparently it has, it talks about vegan hot dogs. So I'm so excited, let's watch. I'm so hungry. Okay. Let's get you a hot dog. A hot dog. Hey, Ivan. Wait, he didn't say vegan. Oh, no, he didn't say vegan hot dog. That's not good. I have to put an X on the paper. Errol. Did you get a hot dog? Did he just say vegan hot dog or did he say hot dog? Oh, I didn't hear the word vegan. Let's go back. Oh, no. Guys, is this just a mistake? Did you guys fool me? Did you guys trick me? Hey, Ivan. Errol. Did you get a hot dog? Oh. Uh, never mind. I don't, I don't have enough. But I really want a hot dog. Uh, I'm so sorry, son. After I get a job, I promise you will never be hungry again. Okay? Okay. Hey, you know what? Don't worry about it. This one's on me. No! Don't give children hot dogs. They are made from a cycle of violence. Hot dogs contain dead animals. No, no, no. You must feed them vegan hot dogs. Not dead animals. It's wrong to hurt animals. Don't hurt them. Oh, no. This is starting to make me really sad. No. No, you, you got it last time. I know business has been tough on you, and I can't ask you to do it again. <laughs> it's okay. I might not have a lot of customers, but it's better than being hungry. Besides, I've always believed that the kindness you put out into the world has a way of coming back to you. Yes, but don't put out something into the world that is a dead animal. How is that being kind? Are you not considering the animals and how they feel? They don't want to be put into gas chambers. Pigs are put into gas chambers. They are murdered at six months old. That's not right. Do you know what? They did that to the Jews in World War II. They pretended that they were taking them into showers and then they murdered them by turning on the gas. No, this is all wrong. Children should never be eating these kinds of things ever. It's not good for them. Veganism 
It's good for the animals, the environment, and human health. If you need recipes, you just go to Bosch.tv. You guys tricked me. That's not right. I thought this was going to be about vegan hot dogs. No! No! Animals don't belong in a bun! All their body parts cut up! This is so wrong! Darman, I have to give you another X now. I don't see any mention of vegan foods here at all. And you said the word hot dog without saying vegan over and over and over. Abel, it's okay. Take it. No, don't take it. No. Oh, my God. What is the dad doing? Don't feed your kid dead body parts. The poor innocent pigs. Do you know what happens to them? Their mothers and fathers are raped. They take the male pigs and they touch them inappropriately. They touch their penises. They rub them. They take out the sperm. Then they force it into the females. It's not right. I just heard something inappropriate. Which you kids... Wait. But that's okay. Because... She's dead. She better go hell. It's bestiality. It's sexual abuse. It's rape. We don't do that to children and we should not do that to animals. They can never give consent to that. How can you be okay with this cycle of violence? I'm giving you more excess for this. This is absolutely wrong. We shouldn't be giving this to children. And also, the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics has stated clearly that anyone can be vegan at any stage of development. So why would you give that to a child when there are so many other choices? Thank you so much, Ivan. Can't tell you how much I appreciate this. No, you don't take you don't thank somebody for giving your child dead body parts. What the fuck is wrong with you? Got an interview with Giovanni's and once I get the job, I promise I'll pay you back soon. Giovanni's? Woohoo, that's the most popular place in town. Good luck. And hey, if you want, Ruben can just wait here until your interview's over. You're the best. I'll never forget this. No, you're not the best. You are the worst. Darman, also, why are you making these kinds of videos, Darman? You are supposed to be a good guy. Every time, Darman, in the future, that you show any animal products, you must say it's wrong. It must be in that context. And every time you show food, it must be vegan food. You must promote veganism all the time. Again, veganism is the best thing for the animals. No one gets hurt. For the environment, it's best because it reduces our eco footprint. And even for human health. All schools where children go should be vegan. There should be no dead animals being brought into there and put into the fridges. All hospitals should be vegan. Why are we bringing dead animals into hospitals? A, a hospital is supposed to play, be a place where we heal people with healthy veggies, fruits, nuts, seeds, lentils, vegan foods, pasta, rice. I'll be right back, okay? Okay, good luck. <laughs> Now he's going to teach the child how to fry up hot dogs and hang out with him? This man paid for murder. He's making money by selling suffering, kidnapping of animals. Do you know what happens in these industries? When it comes to the baby cows and the dairy industry, they take the baby boy cows away from their mothers when they're just little because they'll never be able to give milk, and they slit their throats. It's wrong. Do you know what they do in the egg, egg industries? They put the babies on these little conveyor belts, these little baby chicks, and they pick them up and they check. And if they are boys, they put them on another conveyor belt and they fall down, down, down into slicing blades and they cut them up into a million pieces. It is wrong. We must not hurt animals. Animals are here with us on the planet, not for us. Tell Darman to be vegan from now on. You're vegan about it. 
Darla, and if you see this, and I hope that everybody tags you and that you see this, you must be vegan. You must educate yourself. It is your moral responsibility. You have so much power when you make these videos to continue to make them. And every time that you show a child asking for a hot dog, you must have them in the script. Write it down. I guess I would like a vegan hot dog, please. Every time they get an ice cream, don't say, I'd like an ice cream, please. Or if a dad is offering the child an ice cream, he should always say, would you like a vegan ice cream cone? And the child should say, yes, that should be the script. We need to teach veganism. We need to teach animal protection. And if you're talking about shoes and buying leather, it should be vegan leather. It shouldn't be the skin of an animal that begged for their life. It is wrong what we did to the Jews in World War II, putting them into these gas chambers, but the Holocaust never ended for the animals. They are still suffering by the billions, and the reason that none of you believe that is because you are too afraid to watch the important documentary. You must go to Don't Watch Do Org. You must learn the truth. It is only six minutes long. Go and click on it. Don'twatch.org. Memorize it. It's not .com, it's .org. Don't watch .org. Watch it. And when you see what we do to the animals worldwide, hopefully you will join me and be vegan from now on. What you kids did in tr tricking into watching this video is vegan phobic. That's cruel. If I was defending black people, would you say, hey, go and watch this video of these black people and, and that are dead and bo their, their body parts are dead in a burger? Of course you would never do that. So why are you, if you're not racist, then why are you vegan phobic? If I was protecting the LGBTQ community, which I do, would you tell me go and watch this video and then show me their dead body parts in a hot dog bun? Of course not. Because vegan phobia is wrong and racism is wrong. And I'm sorry, homophobia is wrong and racism is wrong and so is vegan phobia. And what you're doing when you trick me like that is being vegan phobic. The Jews were tricked into going into these gas chambers. They just led them in there and said they were going into showers. What we do to animals is horrible. There is no right way to do the wrong thing, leading them, leading them to think that they can trust us and then murdering them. And they watch their brothers and sisters ahead of them being murdered. It's terrible. You also need to watch Sea Spiracy. It's, all, it's a documentary. It talks about the oceans and how we are depleting the oceans of fish. So it's not okay to eat any animals. We must change and time is running out. We need to protect the world for this new generation. We have a responsibility to our men. You have a responsibility. <laughs> When I'm sad, I always go to watch this amazing video. It's only a minute and a half long, but it cheers me up every time. At the beginning, this young lady is not vegan, but at the end, she is. Stay with me and watch it. Help animals every day. Go vegan today. You can save over 100 animals per year. You see, she takes the pamphlet and she rips it up because she doesn't want to hear about it. Like everybody who hears about vegans, they always think that they're crazy until they really take the time to look. We need to be fair. We need to be vegan. We need to have the courage to look at things. Now, she had a click. She had something happen. She ripped it up, right? Now, why would she rip it up? If someone gives you a pamphlet, you either don't take it, but you ripped it up because it's this anger that you feel at first. It's normal. Like, what? You want me to change everything that I've been eating? Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? But it's part of the stages. That's why so many of you are so angry with me. Because you just don't want to look in the mirror at what you're doing. But I will win you over. You will become vegan. And this channel will continue to grow. Stay with me. And then help me to veganize this world. Hey, how can you tell someone's vegan? No. Don't worry. I'll tell you. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. I'll have the burger. Medium burger. She says... They're so annoying. Vegans are so annoying is what she says. Now, the re reason that that happens is because people just always make fun of vegans. But the reason that the vegans are saying that, are always letting everybody know they're vegan, is because they want to draw the attention, not to themselves, but to the animals over there, over there and over there, who are hidden in these massive factories that you cannot see. Dark sheds crammed together, suffering from the moment that they are born to the moment that they die. Okay, gotta calm down. Press, 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 and.